In this episode, I'm fishing Palos Verdes with my buddy Rob from Real and in Beasts for some mad reaction bites on what I've said before was my favorite jerk bait, and it still is. Stick around, I'll show you guys exactly what I used to get on this hella fun barracuda bite this weekend, and give you guys my top three tips for how to catch more fish in heavily pressured fishing spots. Don't go anywhere, you're watching Dude Fish TV. So if you guys have been subscribers for a while, you know that me and PV have a pretty interesting relationship. On one hand, I've caught so many new species there and had so many fun times with my boys like Jesse Nar from JRM Fishing, creating some memories that will legitimately last a lifetime. Oh, look at this, dude. What is that? That's a white sea bass. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, we got a white sea bass. Yeah. <laughs> And on the other hand, PV has quickly humbled me and showed me that I have absolutely no sea legs, and if I'm gonna do a YouTube channel where I'm fishing out in the ocean, I should probably get a pair of those. So I was stoked when my buddy Rob hit me up and invited me out for another session out there. We made a stop at Nachos just to pick up some sardines in case we wanted to drop some live bait, and then we bounced up the coast. So I'll be starting out on these yum tubes I picked up from LA Fishing Alliance. I got these in camo and in natural. This is the natural right here. Some beautiful colors, I think it looks, well, natural. I'm dropping this Texas rig on a 4.0 owner offset hook with a three quarter ounce bullet weight, but a one ounce would be good too to trigger those reaction bites on the way down. Oh yeah, this kelp looks good over here. There we go, we got one. Yep. Oh, lost it. Got bit though, dropping this kelp dude. The bite started slowing down at the kelp, so we pushed out a little bit further. I decided to throw on a Zoom 7-inch Super Fluke, Texas rigged on a 7-0 oversized worm hook. Are we on? <laughs> I don't know. What is that? Sculpey? Yeah, dude. Here we go, guys. Not a bad little sculpin. That's a keeper. I'm not gonna keep it, but got it on the fluke, seven inch magnum fluke. Rob was starting to get bit on a white swim jig with a white paddle tail trailer on it. If they were starting to bite moving baits, it was time to bust out this baddie. I also picked this up at the shop. This is the 13 Fishing Loco Special 110 jerk bait. This is a four and one quarter inch long, nine sixteenth ounce suspending jerk bait. It's the number 23 and the lucky charm pattern, and this thing is bad. Look, they've come right up to it, the barracuda, and then they, there you go. Oh, look, there's a whole school of them, man. That's crazy. The Loco Special 110 jerkbait is seriously an awesome jerkbait. It looks so beautiful. It's got these HD holographic eyes and this ultra high definition paint finish that just brings it to life in the water. Oh yeah, that seal's chasing those barracuda right now. There we go, there's one. Oh no, the seal's gonna get it. No, the seal got it. The seal got it. Oh, the seal's going. No, I got the seal, dude. No, I want that back. <laughs> oh, I got it back. Oh, Good. Nice. Oh, yeah. Saw him grab it and then that seal came right up to it and grabbed it. I love the weight transfer system inside these things. These ball bearings really help you get a really long cast and then they balance really well on a steady retrieve, which is what I was doing a lot of out here. They've got some solid KVD elite triple grip treble hooks on it. And I actually took the middle one off because I think three is just too many. I think he scared our fish away. I was having followers every single cast until that seal came through. Got one? Nice. Oh, he got it, he got it, no. Oh, he, got oh, he lost the jig. <laughs> They're still down there. They're schooling up every time they follow it back. These barracuda were coming up in big schools, but they were just really curious about the bait and they wouldn't commit. So I decided to start doing a start and stop retrieve and see if I could trigger a reaction bite. Oh, got one. No, no, screw you. No, screw you. It's a flying barracuda. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Did you see that seal come after it, dude? Oh my God. I was not letting him get that one. There we go on the new 13 fishing Loco Special 110 jerk bait. Oh, dude, look at him. He's waiting on it. And he got him. I knew this thing was going to get bit out here. Some other stuff I picked up at LA Fishing Alliance. I got this DT14 deep diving crankbait from Rapala. I also picked up this Yozuri inshore popper. I've never used anything like this, but it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at the way the light passes through it. This Loco Special 110 is getting bit though, so I got to stick to this for a little bit. 
Oh, there we go. Another one. Oh, he came off. He thought about it. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. Screw you. Dude, the seal is coming after every single one I go for. It's a battle between me and the seal for every fish. I also picked up one of these Lunker Hunt one ounce hatch spins. These things are pretty awesome. They look like the Damiki Axe Blade, which I love. So I picked up one of these to see how they'd perform. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got hit. Man, it was so fun playing with these Barracuda. This is where it came in handy having a really nice jerk bait. Oh, right oh, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> yes, that was a good one. Oh no, oh, it was on my leg. Oh, got it, there we go. There you go, boys. Hey, that 13 fishing, uh, whatever it's called, works. That was fun. Oh. oh, there we go, putting in work. Me and Rob were having a blast out here. Just when the vibes couldn't get high enough, Rob hooks into something big. Oh, he's on. Oh, you're on? Yeah, dude. Oh. Oh, oh what? That's, I mean, that's not a barracuda. For sure, that's not a barracuda. Son. Oh. And we wouldn't be fishing with reeling in beast if you weren't reeling in beast, brother. Well, that was a bummer that he lost whatever that was. We're pretty sure it was a white sea bass or something like that. But hey, we'll call it a yellowtail, why not? As Bill Dance once said, never let the truth get in the way of a good fishing story. So I know a lot of you guys fish these urban ponds around town and these high pressure spots. I wanted to give you three tips for how to catch more fish in these high pressure spots. Tip number one is gonna be to downsize. These 13 fishing whippersnapper 80s are an awesome downsize to the Loco Special 110. If I'm not getting bit on that jerk bait, I'm downsizing to this and I guarantee you these are gonna get bit. Tip number two is to look as real as possible with your baits. These live target baits I picked up from LA Fishing Alliance are crazy. They look so real. You could drop shot these things for halibut in the bay, or you could drop these things for largemouth bass in these high pressure urban lakes. Either way, these things are getting bit. Tip number three is gonna be to get up early and be the first one out there. I know it's not the one you wanna hear, it's not the one I wanna hear, but it's what's gonna get you bit. Those fish are gonna see a lot of stuff that day. Be sure you're the first one that it sees. Before you go, check out the rest of the baits I picked up at LA Fishing Alliance. I picked up a couple of these 13 fishing jabber jaws. These things are awesome. They've got a nice metal bill on them and the paint job is amazing. I also picked one up in bluegill for the freshwater applications as well. I also picked up this Thunderhawk burner brim. He actually had a bunch of these like 40 and 50% off of the shop. So be sure you get there as soon as possible and pick those things up before they're gone. If you guys found value in this video, please leave a comment and let me know. Give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Turn your notification bells on so you get notified each time I upload content. And I'll see you guys in this video right here. Don't go anywhere. Click this box. See you soon.